Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this one going to be on Batman issue number 37 and game part number 3 and this issue was just amazing I really loved it it was creepy it had the horror taste in it it was just amazing so what happened in this issue basically is uh, Bruce is trying to find out a cure for the new toxin that the Joker released and uh, we did also that the Batman encountered this big uh, group of people that are infected and they're going crazy they're going like mental later on he went to a hospital and uh, we saw that Jim Gordon was actually looking up some information and in each panel we saw uh, a face that was hiding in the shadows that looked like our new Joker uh, you know in every page I mean it looked like him he was freaked and then BAM he got hit with the box and he just fell right on the floor now later on we saw that Batman actually encountered Joe Chill the man who killed his parents and he was about to kill another two people and uh, they were actually recreating the death scene of Bruce Wayne and he was like, Batman, no, I'm not gonna allow this to happen again. And he just went to save him. And we saw a new trick from the Joker. He just, you know, flipped his fingers and fire started burning from everywhere, which was amazing as well. Later on, we saw two great panels where, uh, you know, the Joker was fighting Jim Gordon and uh, Joe Chill was about to kill the parents and Batman uh, saved them and, uh, you know, we had this great panel where Joe Chill and Gordon uh, shot at the same time, Batman saved the parents and Jim Gordon shot the Joker right in his chest and the Joker just fell down. Now, later on, we saw that Batman uh, took care of the kid, uh, his parents couldn't really survive, they uh, got infected by the gas and that's where we saw that the Joker did not die, he woke up again and I think he became some kind of an immortal person or maybe there's some kind of a, a life limit for him and that's where the issue uh, you know, stops. Batman saves the kid and he gets surprised with the voice that was talking to him and here's another thing that happened he called him by his name Bruce hello Bruce something like that you know and <laughs> I actually did that voice in my head when I was reading so uh, yeah that that's pretty much for the ending of the issue I really loved it really enjoyed it it was different the art as usual amazing and uh, the panels were done in a pretty good way I just loved the story. I loved putting uh, these hints uh, from 1910 and 1946. So this guy is available since 1910 and 1946. So there's something weird behind him. We don't know who's, who is he yet, but he's creepy. He's interesting. Uh, Batman encountered his uh, his parents killer again, and it was just amazing. Really loved it. Thank you guys for watching, let me know your thoughts right down below, if you like what you see please hit the like button, share it around, subscribe and see you guys around, take care.